The wait for people to get on public assistance programs like Medicaid and food stamps can be a long one in Alaska. In fact, the system recently came under fire from the state ombudsman's office for its huge backlog of applications. As KTVA 11's Lauren Maxwell tells us, help is coming, but for some, it can't come soon enough. Lauren. Well, Emily, what the ombudsman found is that there simply are not enough people working in the public assistance office to keep up especially after a big expansion in the Medicaid program a few years back. Now, the office asked for 41 new positions to help process applications, but the legislature funded 20. That's a problem for people like the man that you are about to meet who is literally living on the edge. I love this little world because for me it's not little, it's big. Walter Rowland's idea of home is a hotel room at the Black Angus Inn, where he's lived for the last five years. Two stovetop iron, skillet, pan, basic essential. Legally blind, Walter says it has everything he needs, including the basics to make a meal. The only thing it doesn't have is food. I have some cranberry sauce. Walter hasn't had a decent meal in weeks. And I assure you, if I could get up and go to a food bank, I would. I'd be there every week. Walter's Medicaid came late this month, and his food stamps still haven't arrived. Calls to find out why haven't helped. I waited three days, I called again, left another message, still no call back. And I've had this problem with them before. At this point, Walter says he's more than just hungry. If you will notice on this package, it says take with food. He's worried about his health. He says the system is making him sick. Plainly put, this is inhumane. You don't treat people like this who cannot take care of themselves. You did receive your SNAP benefits. Great. And when did you receive them? At the Food Bank of Alaska, workers who help people apply for food stamps are seeing more cases like Walters. We have a volunteer at Beans Cafe who is providing application assistance, and she called me about half a dozen times in an hour. Um, to check on case statuses for clients who are trying to see where their benefits are. Where they are, according to the head of public assistance, is likely in the backlog. We have about 21,000 applications in backlog right now, applications and renewals. Those are people who have waited more than 30 days for their benefits, and sometimes much more. The ACA-related Medicaid, we have some applications still from 2015. The department hopes to come closer to catching up now that it has funds to hire 20 new workers. Problem is, they won't come on board until July. That's a long time for people like Walter, have a good day. who's hoping he'll hear back a little sooner. Now, there is some good news to this story. A number of people that we spoke with today said they would look into Walter's case. And Walter called me a short time ago to say he had just heard from the Office of Public Assistance. He can expect to receive his food stamp benefits tomorrow. That's great news, Lauren, but what about all the other people waiting? Any advice for them? Well, one thing that you can do is call the Food Bank of Alaska. They actually have workers there who can check on your application status. They can also point you to other resources while you're waiting for your benefits to arrive. All right. Thanks so much, Lauren.